I'm Laura McVeigh and this is my collaboration with Gorgeous Girl. This is my full makeup look and stay tuned to find out how I do it. So first of all I'm going in with this which is a BB, um, well it's called BB Flawless but it's basically a BB cream that's slightly thicker than an average BB cream I guess. More foundation-y um, but it's really really good for my skin and especially because obviously at the moment the weather's changing my skin has kind of broken out so this is a lot better for my skin and doesn't um, clog it up as much I suppose. So I've applied that, I've then put it, pushed it into my skin with a beauty blender and then I'm just applying some powder. I'll link all the colours and products that I use below. Now I've done that, I'm going in with a concealer. This is colour um, Organza. It's for skin with pink undertones, so if you've got spots or redness, this is the concealer that you want um, because it's really good for courage. So I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids. I'm finding this really useful for base of um, fan, uh, eyeshadow at the moment. So I've done that and then I'm just sort of pushing it into my eye with a blending bud. I'm now going in with palette one. I use the colour forthright and I'm applying that to my brows using a angled shadow brush. <laughs> an angled an angled yeah yeah I don't know it's angled. I'm then using the morph morph E Morphe Morph 35U palette and I'm using the white as a base and then I'm going in with that same palette I used for my brows and the colour is called Chipper and I'm just using that brown as my transition colour. I've put on the white as a base for my eyelid because I'm going in with the orange from the Morph 35U palette and I just think it makes the colour stand out and look good. I'm applying this colour with my finger because I want it to be really bright and vibrant and I find that sometimes it just goes on a lot lot better plus I've got no nails on so I can. <laughs> And then going in with the Laval Liquid Eyeliner and just applying quite a small wing, I suppose. No, I don't know. Average size wing um, to my eyes. And then I'm applying some of the... There's a darker brown in the Morph 35U palette. And I'm just using that on the outer edge and then blending it in. Once I've done the other eye and done the um, liquid eyeliner on both eyes, I'm then applying these, which are for from Eldora. I think they're the H168. That's just off the top of my head. Um, but I think they're them ones, and they're really, really nice. I saw Jamie Genevieve use, use them, and I was just in love and had to get them. So after I've applied them lashes, I am then applying um, just some 3D Plus Mascara to my lashes. And I find this one really good because it's really fine um, and coats the lashes really really well and doesn't go clumpy at all. I'm also doing my bottom lashes. I'm then going to, once obviously that mascara has dried, I'm going in with the same brown kind of colour that I've got on the crease and above on my eye and I'm applying it to the bottom lashes and then I'm going in with concealer. I'm using the same colour that I used on um, my eyelids to start with and I'm just sort of doing it under the eye and I will do it down my nose in the middle of my head and then I'm going to just, I, this brush is really really good, it's just really flat and really good to sort of um, brush it on and blend it but I then push it into my skin with a blending bud and sometimes use some of that powder that I used earlier on my eyes as well. So from the uh, Morph, Morphe palette uh, 35U, there is a white and I'm applying that with a bit of, um, I think it's elegant, it's a little pigment pot, it's really really good for highlight, I use it in a minute on my highlight and I've just applied that to the centre of uh, the inner corner of my eye. I'm now applying contour, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, this is the powder and I use the light to medium colour and I'm applying that to my face with a oval 9 brush and I blend it with that brush as well, I find it really easy to blend especially if you've got, um, if it's powder. I'm now moving on to highlight. This is what I just mentioned that I used in the centre, in the inner corner of my eye. This is a little pot called Elegant, I think it is. I will have a little look, or it might be Curious, actually. It could be called Curious. There's a couple. But this is just super nice because it's not just white. It's almost got sort of glint, 
glimpse of sort of almost baby pink and a golden colour. It's just really, really nice. Super smooth to use as well um, because they are minerals. And yes, so I'm using that on obviously the cute bow, the bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, and I've usually used it on my brow bone. I'm then going in with this, which is a brand new colour um, from my website, or I'll link everything below. This is colour Stoic, I think that's how you say it. It's this really nice kind of burnt, it's almost like a brownie red, so it has got a bit of a tinge of red in it. But I just think it's absolutely perfect for this time of year, um, obviously any time of year, but it's just such a full colour. Um, and yeah, so I'm applying that all over my lips. I haven't even used the lip liner, but where the end is very, very pointed, you can kind of line your lips with it, which is what I do, and I will do after. So this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know if you have any other suggestions on what you would like me to do. And yes, this is the finished look. If you like this look, give me a thumbs up. Comment below 